guys, what's up? My name is Rajat. Welcome back to my channel VFX World. Today, I'll show you one more exciting tutorial. So, what is today's topic? Today's topic is all about rigging animation in a very easiest way. Sounds good, right? Because it's absolutely free and very fast. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so now we are in my system. So this is a cool old wallpaper actually. Okay, now what I have to do, you have to open 3ds Max or like Max, Maya, any platform which you use, I mean, which you are uh, preferable software. So then just open this 3ds Max and you should import a model or you can make this but uh, guys make sure I want to tell you something before starting this one first of all this is not kind of a uh, like uh, inverted comma inside it's not a kind of a tutorial this is a like a tips and tricks videos volume 1 I will m upload many many videos like this which will uh, like uh, tips and tricks so basically what you have to do that is that uh, just import a model inside of Max or Maya like any software but guys make sure that your cut flows are proper see uh, this cut flow is absolutely proper for uh, rigging purposes because if you are not make any software in a very proper way that will not rig properly okay guys so now when you have your model and when you are happy with that then just go to this file option and export option and just press export over there and then go to desktop or anywhere so now I'm choosing this desktop option and just uh, select like the model and export it in should be in FBX or you can export it in zip file format but better if you export it in FBX format then just press save now the uh, main part just minimize it and open any browser but I am preferring like Google uh, Mozilla and all like me axmo.com on your web page sorry guys something is wrong okay me axmo and yes this one when it's loading this side it's actually guys it's a adopt side okay adopt is like made this side for character animation rigging see create rig animate and design so it's very easiest way to do so now you can log in if you have any adobe id then it's uh, very good otherwise you have to just create this it's very easy and then just uh, go to the sites when you open this site first time you will get two options like characters and animation if you press this character button over there you guys can uh, see many like uh, characters over there which is already pre-uploaded here you just go and select it like this see it will load some time otherwise uh, but because it's pretty uh, heavy see this characters is there but the most uh, good part is this characters is properly rigged so now I want to rig my character and upload it here so just press upload your character option here just upload character see its option is there FBX so select FBX OBJ and zip format. So basically what I did it's FBX because uh, the uh, textures will also export it in a very uh, proper way. So then just uh, click the select file option. Then just go to desktop and uh, select this my model. So now it will upload and uh, sometimes what happens is like uh, if you have any high poly detailing model it will take some time. But guys my suggestion is just uh, do in a very uh, like um, low poly model but in a very proper cut flow. You should maintain that. Otherwise your model will getting very uh, like heavy and it will say take so much time see our model is there it's a uh, option is like orient for the best result you have your character in T pose and figures spread it parts use arrow button to rotate your character and have its front face forward this one 
So now you can just rotate it like this, but I thought to leave it like this. Then just press next over there. See, now there's a, a this a line is divided. This character is in a two way. And this is a diagram. I just zoom in it for you guys. Otherwise, you guys can't see. Uh, okay, so now this is a chain part. Just move this pointer to this chain part in a like it auto it's automatically uh, like see it's captured its way. And then the wrist part, just go and select that wrist part, and next is elbow. So then just go and I think in this model this part is actually the elbow part. Then the knees, just go and drop it like this, and this one it will go like here. Okay, when you fix all these controllers, then just uh, press. I mean next by the way guys this is use symmetry option if you uh, don't uh, like wish like sometimes what happen is like this hand is a little bit uh, smaller some models have uh, like alien tech models like then you just uh, switch it off and customize this area uh, separately then just press next and really guys it will take uh, slightly like two minutes sometimes one half minutes but when it complete i'll get back to you with the proper output so guys, as you can see, uh, my character is already rigged properly. See, it's already moving. See, it's very nice, right guys? Then uh, now they're asking like press next to confirm your auto rigged character, then apply the animation and download your character. So now just press next. So they will say that your 3D character has been uploaded process with this new character. Your previous character will not be saved because uh, I uploaded many characters previously that will just lost right now. So now just press next and what I have to do. I just got my character over here. Now I want if you like if you wish your character will export in a like T pose with that proper bone setup. You can directly download it like this but if you wish that your character will have any kind of animation then just go and I will show you exactly but before going this I want to show you some more uh, tools over there see this is uh, like uh, enable skeleton uh, view so this is my basic skeleton setup which is uh, like bone setup which we called in 3ds max or my format uh, they uh, it's really nice guys it's really really nice just uh, select this zoom options like the zoom this is like reset camera this is toggle camera option now if i am like uh, using any kind of animation so like press this animation tab over there and it has lots of animations are there so just click one it will automatically see it's animating see guys it's automatically animating like if you have any dancing like samba dance pose just click it just see it's dancing here see it's very funny but it's very awesome because your 98 percent work they did in a see it's very rigged properly like this character is actually a like hi-fi modeling character so and it's a cyborg character so just select sometimes suppose it's like they're walking see it's walking is like same animation suppose uh, if they dead okay so this one is like deadly oh wow just wow see now you can do uh, many things with these animations suppose i have um, okay suppose 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 i have this fighting uh, pose okay this is my fighting pose cool now i want this arm height just drag it like this so see it's arm height target like the so you can customize your uh, animation online by using this much tools see now I have uh, okay let's select um, one more animations like this one no this one is not good so it's very funny guys it's very funny actually uh, just select little bit trickier poses like uh, I didn't find this actually it's Okay, this one okay see this one is nice so intensity is like hundred percent if I lose it like this like 23 percent see this push option is uh, getting a decrease so if you hundred percent see the force is very high overdrive if you hundred percent is like this see very fast if you slow it like very slow see 
Ooh, slow motion, right? Character arm spaces. If you uh, decrease this space, it will see it will co collide. So better is just move it like this, like eighty three. Otherwise, animation will collide. Uh, trim options. See, it's very good. So when you're happy with this, just if you wish, you can select it like here, or then just press download. And if you wish with skin without skin you can choose over there if you wish only the model uh, then uh, with bone setup then just without skin and if you wish with skin then with skin and then fvx format frame per second with animation 30 if you want none then none keyframe reduction okay and if you have everything okay then just download but if you wish that t post character just cross this animation bar and it will completely come to up to you like a t pose then just press download and they will show you the fbx t pose original pose fbx then just press that download button okay so now guys when you have your model we downloaded then just import it in 3ds max which i already did so i'll show you by importing that model inside of 3ds max so guys this is my character as you guys can see if i uh, hide this i mean this options just just a second if i hide this hide one okay see this is my proper bone setup now what you can do just go and start rigging i mean animation and all then so just press unhide all just press like this and select your bones from here just a second guys hit lines on and uh, select like head and see okay so everything is fine and just start animation so what are you waiting for guys Everything is done here now uh, for today's tutorial is all about this how to animate rig skin detailing animation in a very easiest way so guys this is it for today the site name is Maximo and it's a very awesome site and it's free the best part is it's free so just go and browse it download your character upload your character do a proper rigging skinning everything inside of the side and just import it in 3ds max maya or any kind of platform and guys i want to see many many animations from you guys uh, in a very easiest way with this side and if you have any questions related this and uh, anything else then do comment on my youtube uh, like in this video's comment section below and if you guys really like my this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe my channel and thank you guys for uh, uh, giving me this support because a few days back my channel crossed 500 subscribers on YouTube So big thanks to you guys without you guys. This is not possible. So take care have fun and keep watching VFX world Thank you